Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to how to browser. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to connect your domain name to your Wix website or how to connect in my case, but it's kind of like the same uh, steps to connect your name chip domain to Wix. So by having your own custom domain, it's super important if you want your site to look professional and easy to find. But here's the catch. You need a premium subscription to actually connect your domain on Wix. So let's dive in and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So here, if I head over here to the all sites, I can check which site has premium on. Uh, premium, right? So I'm going to click on my own here. I see, so let's see that this website has a premium. So I'm going to select this all website. We need premium, of course. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do here is just to copy this domain. And then I'm going to paste this domain here. And then I'm going to click on Let's Go. You can also click on here, Connect Domain. And now I'm just going to have to this is uh, taken. Is it yours? You just need to click on yes. I own this domain. And then here is just going to show you this part. Now it's going to help us to connect uh, this domain, how to browser that site to you, our website here. And all you need to do is just to log into your account where you bought your domain. Wix will handle the rest. It also says it may, it may take up to 48 hours for everything to go live, but once it's connected, they'll send you an email to let you know your site is officially up and running on your custom domain. So let's click on continue now because we're going to have a few things to actually do. So it's going to take a couple of stuff we're going to have to do. Getting up your set up details and now we just have to log in in our name uh, to our website uh, just log in now we're just gonna have now to wait for this to complete add your password add your username then just wait to authenticate you're gonna have to, to wait for this process to complete as you can see here it's gonna take up to a few minutes and if you encounter some problems when you log in you can actually do it the manual way just click there on authenticate on the manual way and i'm just gonna click on here now i'm just gonna start and now i i mean logged in if you did that didn't work you can click on that that you logged in uh, but also to show you now you can click on i found my domain i found the name servers and then here uh, you're going to see here, add this web name servers, the next name server one, name server two, and uh, let's add them now. So where do we have to go? We're going to have to click on here because I'm showing you this, uh, this part because it's just that didn't work for me to connect it manually, just logged in and that's it. It just failed. So I'm going to show you this method. So here, name servers, we have... Uh, we have custom domain and then here we just need to enter the first one and then we just need to copy the other one so what is it this one okay paste this here and check this save and now we just need to wait a couple of seconds and i will go back Let's log in. Probably we're gonna have to. Okay, I add them. Perfect. Now we just need to wait a couple of seconds, and it's verifying our connection. It may take up thirty seconds, and just don't forget to don't refresh this page. And now it's just telling us they may take up to forty hours hours to check their connection, and uh, yeah, it's just gonna update us when everything is done. So yeah, track, you can click on your track domain status. So you can see here the status of your domain. You can see instruction complete, domain, domain check, domain connect, uh, connecting, and site is live worldwide. So now, yeah, you just have to wait. They will email you. Um, they will update you when everything gets done, okay? So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Take care.